Hi everyone, this video is all about solver add-in and problem solving using a solver. Firstly, let us understand what is a solver. A solver is a piece of mathematical software, possibly in the form of a computer program that solves a mathematical problem. It takes problem descriptions and calculates their solution. The solver option can generally be found under the data tab under analysis group but if not found we can click on file, click on more options, select options. Under it we will select add-ins. We will select excel add-ins and click on go. In this dialog box we will tick on solver add-in and click on ok. This way solver has been added to the analysis group. After the solver add-in, let us now learn how to solve the problem of optimal product mix using solver in MS Excel. Following is the numerical example visible on the screen. Maximize 12x plus 16y subject to the constraints. 60x plus 40y is less than equal to 600. 10x plus 20y less than equal to 220. And x and y are the non-negativity constraints. Now to solve this question, I have already entered the data in this excel sheet. The resources are x and y. The values of x and y which we will receive after solving the question. The profit of x is 12 per unit, profit of y is 16 per unit. The maximum profit will be calculated using some product function. Array 1 will be the profit of x and y and array 2 will be the values of x and y. We are receiving 0 right now because the question is not solved yet. Similarly for the constraints we will also use the sum product function. Equal to sum product. Array 1 will be the constraint 60 and 40 and array 2 shall be the values of x and y. Similarly for the second constraint also we will do the same. Use sum product function and enter 10 and 20 as array 1 and the values as the array 2. Now to solve the question we will Click on solver and enter the data. Objective will be the maximum profit. We need to maximize so we will click on maximum. The changing variable cells will be the values of x and y. Now we need to add the constraints. We will click on add. We will add constraints one by one. The left hand side. Select the less than equal to sign is defaultly selected and select 600 cell. Click on add to add one more constraint. Select the left hand side. Select the less than equal to and click on the right hand side cell. Click on ok. The constraints are added. Now to for the non-negativity constraints we will click on this box. We will select simplex LP method and click on solve. Next we have to click on OK. We have received the required solution. Similarly, we can also pro solve the problems of capital budgeting, financial planning and workforce scheduling. 